springing up, even out of the ditches, primroses and violets, oh, nature it is. As for them saying there's no God, I wouldn't give a snap of my two fingers for all their learning. Why don't they go and create something? And I often ask him, atheists or whatever they call themselves, go and wash the cobbles off themselves first. Then they go howling for the priest and they dying. And why? Why? Because they're afraid of hell on account of their bad conscience. Ah, yes, I know them well. Who was the first person in the universe before there was anybody that made it all? Who? Ah, that they don't know. Neither do I. <laughs> so there you are. They might as well try to stop the sun from rising tomorrow. The sun shines for you, he said. The day we were lying among the rhododendrons on Hope Head, in the grey tweed suit and his straw hat. The day I got him to propose to me, yes. First, I gave him the bit of seed cake out of my mouth and it was leap here like now. Yes. Sixteen years ago, my God. After that long kiss, I near lost my breath. Yes. He said I was a flower of the mountain. Yes, so we are flowers all. A woman's body. Yes, there was one true thing he said in his life. And the sun shines for you today. Yes. That was why I liked him. Because I saw he understood or felt what a woman is and I knew I could always get round him. And I gave him all the pleasure I could leading him on until he asked me to say yes and I I wouldn't answer first, only looked out over the sea and the sky. I was thinking of so many things he didn't know of. Mulvey and Mr. Stanhope and Hester, father and old Captain Groves and the sailors playing all birds fly and I say stoop and washing up dishes they called it on the pier. And the sentry in front of the governor's house with the thing round his white helmet, poor devil, half roasted and the Spanish girls laughing in their shawls and their tall combs, and the auctions in the morning, the Greeks, the Jews, and the Arabs, and the devil knows who else from all the ends of Europe, and Duke Street, and the foul market, all clucking outside Larby Sharon's, and, and the poor donkeys slipping half asleep, and the vague fellows and the cloaks asleep in the shade on the steps, and the big wheels of the carts of the bulls, and the old castle, thousands of years old, yes, and those handsome moors all in white and turbans, like kings asking you to sit down in their little bit of a shop, and Ronda the old windows of the posadas. Glancing eyes, a lattice hid, or a lover to kiss. The iron and the wine shops, half open at night, and the castanets. And the night we missed the boat of Altasir, as the watchman going about with his lamp. Oh, 
he kissed me under the Moorish wall and I thought, well, as well him as another. And then I asked him with my eyes to ask again, yes, and then he asked me, would I yes to say yes, my mountain flower. First I put my arms around him, yes, and drew him down to me so he could feel. 